Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Kayla, also known as Thrifty Mom of Two here on this YouTube channel. I am a full-time reseller. I sell on Poshmark, Mercari, and on eBay. And today I have a thrift store haul video of all items that I picked up to sell in my online stores. So in today's haul, I have a good mixture of clothing, shoes, and a few hard good items. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know I started off primarily selling women's clothing and my main focus slowly, slowly shifted to reselling shoes. That is my favorite category to resell. I still do sell clothing though as well, but shoes is usually my main focus. So I will show you the shoes I picked up as well. And then occasionally I pick up a few hard goods. That's really not my specialty, but I do pick up a few things here and there just kind of for fun. It's really not, it really doesn't fit into my business model. It's not primarily what I sell, but occasionally I pop over there because I like to look at the home decor stuff. Um, just because I decorate my own home with a lot of thrifted items. So I occasionally will grab something to resell. So this haul is actually from yesterday. I went thrifting yesterday and I was able to get a total of 39 items from just this one thrift store. I do have my total, my total buy cost and my average buy cost per piece that I'm going to share with you guys. But because I just sourced these yesterday, I am going to photograph and list them after this video. So everything still has the thrift store tag on them. So you may see some of those in this video. However, I'm not gonna individually share each buy cost for each item. Um, not because I don't wanna be transparent. I'm still gonna share my numbers with you guys and you know I'm very transparent on this channel, but because the price on the tags on most of these items is not accurate to what I actually paid for the item for two reasons. One being that I did use a 20% off coupon and I actually used two 20% off coupons. So the way the coupons work at this Savers thrift store near me is it's 20% off up to $100. So the max discount you can receive is $20 off your purchase. So because I actually went over $200, I actually went over $300, but I only had two coupons. I ended up splitting my purchase into two separate transactions so that I was able to use both of my coupons. So I was able to get 20% off two different orders. And then also 13 out of the 39 items that you're gonna see were half off items. So the they have a color tag of the week that is half off and 13 of the items that I picked up were half off, which also brought the buy cost down. And then I also source with the thought in mind that I'm going to average out my buy cost. That just works better for me. What it does is it allows me to purchase a few items that might be slightly overpriced, but then I get a lot of items that might be underpriced because they're half off or the thrift store just didn't know the brand or whatever, so the price is really low. Um, so of course, it's going to bring down, when I average out my buy cost, it's going to bring down the buy cost of the items I paid up for, but it will also, also slightly bring up the price for the items that I got for a lot less. And usually I meet somewhere um, like a happy medium. My goal is to usually stay between a $5 and $9 average buy cost per item. That usually works pretty well for the type of items I'm picking up and still leaves me plenty of room for profit. Okay, so on yesterday's haul, I spent a total of $308.08. That does include tax and everything that I paid, so that was my total buy-in price. I bought 39 items total, and that brought down my average buy cost to $7.90 per piece, and that is how I will record my buy cost for each of these pieces in my bookkeeping system on my spreadsheet. So $7.90 each. So let's go ahead and jump right in and get started. I am gonna start with the clothing items, then we'll move on to some shoes. And then at the very end of the video, I'll show you the few little hard good items that I picked up. So this first item is a beautiful vintage knit sweater. I absolutely love the colors on this, the pink and the like minty, like mint green color on here. Such a beautiful combination. It also has like these little stitching details that look like hearts all over the sweater. So this would have been perfect for Valentine's Day, which 
too late to get it up for that, but it's still a very cute sweater. So the brand is Susan, Susan D, which no, I, I don't know anything about this brand, but when I'm picking up vintage pieces, I primarily pick up based off style. This is 100% acrylic and it is a size small. It also has these cute little button details up here at the neck. So it kind of has like a mock neck with cute little buttons. I would say it's kind of an oversized small, so this could probably fit a medium as well. Okay, next, this is not a brand that I pick up often. I have sold this brand before, but I picked this, this piece up based off of a style, and this is a decent brand. It's not a brand that has a super high resale value, just based off my experience, but it is a decent brand that a lot of people are familiar with. So this is Tommy Hilfiger. Some of the vintage Tommy pieces can do really well, but um, I don't think this piece is vintage. This is a size extra small slash small, and it is this really cute plaid knit poncho. So it has this little spot for your arm to come out here on the side. It does button up the front or you could wear it open. And it has these really cute nautical looking buttons. Just a really cute piece. This uh, this would have been perfect for the ho for the holiday season. It does kind of have that like Christmas vibe to me or just the fall time. So definitely not in season, but you guys know I source for all, I source all seasons all year round. Okay, this is another new to me brand. I've actually heard of this brand. I've just never found it or picked it up for resale. I believe it's like an Instagram brand or it possibly might be sold at Ruli, I think is what it's called, which I think also is, um, I'm familiar with the brand from Instagram. So I don't know if that's where like it originally started, but the brand is called Bomi, size extra small, and it's this really pretty, like dusty rose colored dress. It is midi length, which midi length dresses are always a good seller for me. And it just kind of has that like prairie vibe to it a little bit. It has these pretty, like kind of dainty prairie vibe. It has these pretty little ruffle sleeves. The model picture is adorable. So this next dress, I actually picked up two exactly the same. There was two of them on the rack, same size, same style, same everything. So this brand is Chi Chi London, which I've sold once or twice before, and it did okay for me in the past. Um, this dress is a US size eight. The other one is also a US size eight, but it is this really pretty like high neck sleeveless dress. It is like a high low, so let me see if I can show you guys the bottom. So it's cut up higher in the front and then it has this really pretty like flowy skirt in the back, which I think is just absolutely gorgeous. I love the colors and the floral pattern. Such a beautiful dress. And like I said, I did get two of those exact same size. And then I also picked this dress up, which is another formal dress. This is, I think I saw somebody advertise this exact dress as like a mother of the bride dress or like a wedding guest dress. And this is by the brand BHLDN. I don't know if that stands for something, um, but when I did look this particular dress up, I did find it on Anthropology's website. So I do know Anthropology sells this brand. And it is a beautiful midi length, like blue lace embroidered dress. It has a nude lining underneath, absolutely gorgeous. It also has this ribbon belt that goes around the waist. And this one is new with tags, which is awesome. I think it's a size, Let's see if I can find, it's also a size eight. So these must have been donated by all by the same person. Next dress, I was actually really excited to find as well because it is stunning. It looks absolutely beautiful on the model picture. It is just a gorgeous dress and the brand is Line and Dot. You guys can hopefully see that there. So Line and Dot. And this is a size medium, but it is this black 
beaded or not beaded sequin dress. It kind of has like a, the texture, it kind of feels like that coated leather, but it's sequins and it is full length, but it does have a deep side slit. And yeah, this dress is absolutely stunning. I did look up comps and it looks like this dress is selling really well. So I am excited about that find. Okay, and then I have one more dress here, which is actually a very formal dress. It's a little bit more formal than the other ones. A little bit outside of my realm, I guess. Um, I don't usually pick up dresses that are this formal. And I know that a lot of formal events aren't even taking place right now. But this dress is gorgeous. It does have, it is also by that same brand, the BH LDN. So it does have a pretty high retail value. And it looks like this brand in general performs really well. I couldn't find this exact dress. I need to do a little bit more research. Um, I couldn't find any listed. I did find this dress. I'll put the name of it on the screen. I did find this dress on like the website, but I couldn't find any that were listed for sale but it is absolutely stunning. So I still decided to go ahead and pick it up. It has this beautiful like V neckline. It is like fitted up top and then it is super flowy. It has a full long skirt on it. And then it also has pockets, which I think is really cool, especially for a really formal dress like this. Just absolutely stunning. The colors, the floral pattern, so hopefully this will find a good home. It may take a while to sell, but I think somebody eventually will appreciate that dress. I also picked up a few really nice handbags. I have been loving selling handbags lately. Um, they've been selling really well for me. And I actually, in another haul that I'm going to film probably today or tomorrow, I found a really, I think it was probably donated by the same person, someone's collection of just good quality, genuine leather handbags. I found quite a few of them, um, but those are gonna be in a different haul. There are a few leather ones in this haul as well. I am just a sucker for like a really nice quality leather handbag. Um, so I do tend to pick them up. This first one I'm going to show you guys is actually really, really neat. It is a tooled, like embossed leather handbag. I believe this was made in Mexico. It doesn't have any like branding or tags on it anywhere, but I can tell it is genuine leather. It's like that embossed leather and I need to do a little bit more research, but I believe this here on the front, you guys can let me know in the comments down below if I'm wrong. I believe this is called like the sun stone or something like that. It's either the Aztec or possibly Mayan uh, calendar is what this symbol thing here is and there's actually two of them so there's one down here as well and then there's some like embossed dragons and just uh, decor like really pretty design all the way around this bag absolutely beautiful such a fun bag and it is actually really clean it's just the raw leather on the inside but it is really clean on the inside as well and some of these like tooled leather bags can actually do really good. So excited to get this one listed just because they're so fun and unique. Okay, this next bag I also picked up based off of style. It is this beautiful beaded little like clutch looking crossbody bag. It does have this little chain strap that you can either tuck into the bag if you wanted to just carry it as a clutch or you can wear it as a crossbody, but I just thought the beadwork on this bag is absolutely beautiful. The color combination I love. It is kind of like a gray and black, but the gray beading also almost has kind of like a green tint to it, like a dark sage green. And this is by the brand Antique Craft. Antique or Antique, I'm not sure how to say that first word, Craft. And yeah, I know nothing about the brand. I did look these up on Poshmark. It looks like they're selling between like $20, $25, which is fine. Really, really beautiful little bag. Okay, and then I have this, I think this is vintage as well. 
it's just a really nice quality buttery soft it's that buttery soft leather which i absolutely love and it's just a little leather like purse backpack i love these these are like the leather like mini backpacks are one of my favorite bags to carry personally so anytime i find like a really nice quality one i will pick them up I will list this one for sale because I already have a couple that I use for myself, but if I didn't, I would definitely keep this one. The brand is Tig, Tig Nanello, which I'm prob probably butchering. I have seen this before, but this is the first time I've picked it up. This one is very clean on the inside, genuine leather. It does have some spotting. I am going to leather condition this, which will darken the leather just a little bit. Um, but it should help that spotting blend a little bit better, but I kind of like the distressed leather look. I think it just adds character to bags like this. And other than that though, very, very good condition. Love the cute little style of this. And genuine leather, like vintage genuine leather bags have been selling really well for me. I think I've sold like two just in the past like week or so. Okay, this next bag is actually like a little wristlet um, clutch type bag. I picked this up not only for style, it is super, super adorable, but also because this brand has been performing really well for me lately. I think which, within like just the last week or so, I've sold two bags by this brand. I sold a like weekender duffel bag. I'll go ahead and put it up on the screen on eBay by this brand. And then I also sold a vegan leather, like shoulder uh, tote bag. And that one sold, I think same day, same day or next day after listing. So this, ba this brand seems to be performing really well. So I went ahead and grabbed this when I found it. The brand is Big Buddha. It has this cute little charm. I think this is the only place that actually says the brand on this. Or actually, it might be inside the zipper too, but um, it does have like a magnetic closure. And then on the inside, there's a spot to put your cards and maybe your ID. And then it has this big zipper pouch, which it probably says the brand in here too, actually. Yeah, so it does have the brand label. So Big Buddha is the brand. Very clean on the inside. This thing is in great condition. And then the next two bags I picked up based off style and also the brand. So this brand I think is also pretty well known. They don't typically have a super high resale value, but it does look like this brand sells well on Poshmark. And this is just a really cute like crochet knit. I love the like rainbow stripe pattern. It has these thick rope like handles on it in amazing condition it kind of has that it has it definitely has that boho vibe to it but it also kind of fits the whole like granny chic trend that's going on and this is by which I actually might use that in my title on ebay this is by the brand the sack really really cute again very good condition and I found two of these bags, so I'm guessing it was donated by the same person, except that one was like a l larger shoulder bag. And then this one is the cross body version, also by the sack. Same crochet knit pattern, but it does have a longer cross body strap and it's a little bit smaller size. Really, really cute. I will probably still list those separately, even though they match. Um, and if somebody wants to bundle them, if they want both, that's fine, but I'll probably still create two separate listings. Next, I found this adorable little wristlet by Betsy Johnson. When I first started reselling, I picked up quite a few Betsy Johnson, like little wristlet bags and stuff, and they all sold really well for me, but I try to stick with ones that have like a novelty print or something um, something that stands out. I stay away from the more like plain ones. I mean, all of her bags are really cute and unique. They'll have like bows or, you know, something on them, but I try to stick with the ones that mainly have like animals or she makes some really cool bags that are like shaped like pizza or tacos, just like really out there stuff. Some of them are actually highly collectible and highly sought after. So if you ever find any of those unique ones, definitely check comps 
This isn't one of the, this isn't one of like the super rare ones, but it does look like this particular bag is selling between like 20 and $25, which is great. It has this cute little French bulldog on it, which is just absolutely adorable. The back is um, like opposite colors. So it's black with the pink writing and the front is pink with the black writing. Again, this is in really, really good condition. Super clean on the inside, as you can see. So really cute. Okay, and then I think this is the last bag that I picked up unless there's one hiding at the bottom of this bag here. Um, I picked this one up based off of style. This is a brand that I don't think I've ever sold before. Definitely not in bags, I don't believe, unless it was a really long time ago. But I love this like watercolor looking, it almost has like a floral watercolor looking print to it. I think it's perfect for the upcoming spring and summer. It has these cute little bow details on the side, large chain details on the strap. And this brand, I think is just sold at Kohl's, but you know, some department store, I sell mall brands, some department store brands still can bring in, you know, still sell between, you know, 20, maybe 20 to $35, somewhere in there. This is the brand Simply, Simply Vera Vera Wang. But this bag was in such good condition and I just absolutely loved the look of it that I decided I would go ahead and grab this and just try it out to see how it does. Okay, I have some more clothing pieces here. So this jacket, I absolutely had to, grab, had to grab. So this is just Harry Potter. It is a black, like a washed black denim Harry Potter jacket. It is Slytherin house, has the Slytherin on the back here with the logo. Really, really cool. There is definitely a loyal following for Harry Potter, there's lots of Harry Potter fans out there, so I know that will do good. I think that's a size, did I say what size it was? It's a size small. Oh, it also has this really cool writing on the inside. It says cunning, ambitious, determined, and resourceful, which is really cool. Okay, this next piece, um, I was actually kind of excited to find. I've never found this brand. I've never tried to resell this brand, but I am familiar with this brand just because I follow um, the creator of this brand on Instagram. So this brand is Kittenish and it's actually Jesse James Decker. It's her line of clothing and I absolutely love her. She has such a great like upbeat personality, but yeah, she, has a clothing line called Kittenish. So when I saw this, I just had to grab it. It's a really cute bodysuit with like this python print. I do think this might be new. It looks new. There's nothing wrong with it. It feels like it hasn't ever been washed. Um, and it does have this tag on it, but the tag is blank. I'm not really sure what this tag was for. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I'll probably still list it as pre-owned because I'm not, I don't, I don't understand why the tag is blank on this. I did check this style on her website. So this only retailed for about $39. So not a super high retail value, but this style is completely sold out in all sizes, um, which is why I still decided to go ahead and pick it up since, you know, it is sold out online, but really, really cute. Okay, this next item I picked up with a flaw and I, usually do not pick up items with flaws anymore just because I never end up taking the time to fix them unless I, you know, pick something up and I didn't realize it was flawed until it was too late and now I'm stuck with it and have to fix it or I'll just list the item with the flaw. But I knew this item had a flaw on it, um, but I picked it up anyways because I figured if I couldn't it does have a stain on it. If I can't get the stain out, I think I will just keep this for myself, but I really, really think that I can get the stain out on this. Just looking at the stain, and I've treated so many stains now um, that I can kind of tell which ones I think I can get out. This is by the brand Wild Fox, which can definitely be hit or miss. Some pieces will sell super quick, some sit for a while, but it does seem like they always eventually sell when I pick them up. This is a size medium, but it's this really cute star print. 
crew neck. It's that like lightweight, super soft fabric. And there is a stain right on the front, which you guys might not see. Sorry, the white always gets washed out. There's like a little red stain right here, but it does look like a surface stain. It looks like they might've just dropped like ketchup or spaghetti or something like right on their shirt right there. So I think I can treat that. It is already pretty faint, um, but I think I can make it look better. And yeah, I just really liked the style of this. So grab that anyways. This next item is one of my favorite athletic brands to sell. This is by Athleta. And I'm pretty sure I've sold this exact pair of pants like two or three times now. If it's not, if it wasn't the exact pair, it was a very similar style. But these are like a lightweight jogger style pant. They do have like the ruching where you can cinch it up on the side here, which is really nice. And yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the exact ones that I've picked up a few times now and they seem to sell pretty quick. Um, this one was a size six. Okay, just a few more clothing pieces and then we'll move on to shoes. This was probably one of my most exciting finds from the day, from this day. I have never found this brand before. I'm familiar with it just from seeing it from other resellers, haul videos, or just other resellers post about this on Instagram. And I've wanted to find this, this brand for a long time now. Um, so I was so excited when I saw this tag. It is Ace and Jig, Ace and Jig, yeah. I think is what it says. Um, this is a size extra small. So definitely remember this tag if you ever see it. This is a definite, definite good brand to pick up. It has a super high retail value. Seems to have a pretty loyal following of people who love this brand. And the resale value seems to hold up pretty well as well. And this is a really cute jacket. It has like double snaps. Are they snaps or buttons? Oh, buttons. It has double buttons in the front. It's this really pretty like olive green color. Super nice. This is definitely oversized for an extra small. So this could probably fit a small, no problem. Okay, this next piece I picked up because this brand um, seems like it is selling pretty well right now. And I just really like the coziness and the style of this. A lot of people are wearing like lounge cozy wear right now. That's what I've always <laughs> worn, not just because of the pandemic, um, but because I work at home. And yeah, I think that a lot of people are, are wearing this type of stuff right now. I also love this color, super soft fleece lining. This is by the brand Eddie Bauer, and it's also new with tags, which is another reason I went ahead and grabbed it. I think, yeah, so this is also a women's size large. So it's also a really good size. So it just kind of checked all the boxes for me there on that piece. And then this last piece I grabbed, I have sold this brand before, but I grabbed it because I saw that on Poshmark, they released some of their top selling brands. And this happened to be one of the brands. And usually I pass on a lot of these pieces in the thrift store. I'm not sure why, occasionally I'll pick up a piece, but I just went ahead and grabbed this one because I thought the style was really nice and I thought it was a good enough piece that it should sell well. This is by the brand Pink by Victoria's Secret. And it's this really pretty like satin bomber jacket in this olive green color. It does have like a contrast black stripe that goes down each sleeve. Nothing crazy, but I think it is a really cute style. And this is a size large, so it's also a really nice size. And yeah, once I saw this was in like their top selling brands, I was kind of thinking like maybe I should look at the brand again and try out a few more pieces just to see. Um, so that was kind of like my tester piece. Okay guys, so now let's go ahead and move on to the shoes here. I have quite a few pairs. That's always the section I go to first now in the thrift store because that is like my main favorite thing to resell. Um, and I did find some good pairs. There was definitely a lot of people over there in the sh shoe section grabbing shoes, but I was still excited to grab some good ones. So this first pair is a pair of Rebecca Minkoff, like studded leather sneakers. 
I just sold a pair of Rebecca Minkoff boots on E or no, they sold on Poshmark, I believe. Um, and I just thought these were really cute. So there is the brand. These ones do need to be cleaned up a little bit. They're not in perfect condition, but I definitely think they were in good enough condition um, that I still feel, you know, good about reselling them. I could definitely clean them up and make them look a little better. And they are a women's size 10. This next pair is a pair of Adidas. Adidas have been selling really good for me lately. I haven't cleaned any of these shoes yet, you guys. So they are going to look much better by the time I clean the bottoms of them. You can see these ones need to be wiped down. Um, but overall, I try to pick up shoes that don't require a ton of work. You can see the upper part of these Adidas is still very, very clean. So all I'm really going to do is clean the bottoms and then stuff them so that they, you know, don't look flat like this in the photos. But yeah, this is just a pair of Adidas. These are the Neo Cloud Foam Ultimates, and they are a size 7. I think they might be actually a 7 in men's. Um, so I might list them as the women's equivalent um, or do two listings. So a seven men's and then the women's equivalent just because seven men's is not like a super popular size. Next pair I was excited to find. This is actually a kid's pair of shoes, but they are in amazing condition. You can see the suede looks amazing. The like Sherpa lining looks amazing. It's not all matted down. So this is by the brand UGG Australia. Bottoms are super clean. I don't think these, I don't think these were worn much, if at all. And these are a youth size two and still just a really good brand. I think these will, will sell well. This next pair of shoes is super cute, genuine suede. It has like this knit detailing up here and like a faux fur lining, really good tread on the bottom. And this is by the brand Bear Traps, which I think I've only sold this brand maybe once or twice. It's not a brand I pick up all the time, but I really did like the style of this boot. So I went ahead and grabbed these. And they are, are a women's size eight and a half. Okay, this next pair of shoes is a pair of Skechers, which Skechers have actually been selling pretty good for me. I won't pay a ton for them, but if I can get them at the thrift store or for a pretty good discounted price, I will absolutely grab them. And these ones are really cute. So they're kind of like a, I think this is like a vegan leather, but they have these straps that go across the front which are just really cool and they're in really really good condition so I don't think they were worn much at all these are a women's size seven and a half and this next pair of shoes was probably my favorite shoe find of the day because I have been wanting to find a pair of these from the thrift store for a while now for a while now I've actually found probably three, four, maybe five pairs of these at the thrift store, but every single time they were trashed, they were so worn that I could not pick them up. But I finally found a pair that was in good enough condition for resale, so I'm super excited. This is by the brand Hoka One One. So on, on the back, you can see it says Hoka here. The brand is called Hoka One One. Maybe you guys can see it on the tag. So it says Hoka. One one, definitely keep an eye out for these running shoes. They have a loyal following, they have a great resale value, and they are pretty expensive, new. A lot of people really, really like these shoes for running. And yeah, you can see this pair has been worn, but the tread is still there. And the upper is in pretty good condition. There was a few small like scuffs on the inside where it looks like they may have rubbed against something right here and it took off like the coloring of the shoe but I will just note that even with a little bit of wear just on the toe right there I still think um, because there's no tears or anything the soles are still in good shape the insoles look great you can see the writing on the insoles is still perfect 
I don't think that's gonna make a huge difference. I think overall, these are still in great condition. And these are a women's size seven. Next pair of boots is by the brand Hush Puppies. And I just absolutely love the style of these. They are a genuine suede leather. They have kind of that moccasin boot look to them, but I really like the scalloped edging. And I don't know, it kind of has that like tulip look to it at the top. I just think that is adorable. Really cute pair of boots. They're in really good condition. And again, the brand is Hush Puppies. I'm not sure if you guys are going to be able to see it anywhere. Yeah, maybe a little bit in there. So Hush Puppies, really cute pair of boots. These ones are a size six and a half. This next pair is by the brand Sam Edelman. They're just really cute little black leather kind of like Chelsea style booties. This style is just classic. I sell so many boots that are just this traditional little like black pointed toe Chelsea style boots. I feel like it's just a very classic style that's popular every year. And so anytime I find them in like an, a well-known brand, I scoop them up. This is by the brand Sam Edelman. And yeah, these are in pretty good condition. I'm going to clean the leather a little bit and there's like a few small little scuffs, but nothing major. I'm gonna put some uh, leather dye on them and conditioner and I think it'll make them look a little better. It'll shine them up a little bit more. There is a size on these boots. I can see where it's at down there. I can see the writing and like style name, but I couldn't get a light down there good enough for me to read what it said in the store, but I know there is a size in there. So I'm gonna have to get a flashlight or something so I can see down there better. I think they're like, just by looking at them, I think they're like a size six and a half or seven. Okay, this next brand I actually was not familiar with, but I did go ahead and look them up when I was in the store and I was actually surprised. These retail for quite a bit and it does look like the resale value is, is decent. Plus I really like the style of these which is why I even took the time to look them up. I can tell they're really good quality. This brand, most of the little booties like this retail between like $100 and $150. And they're kind of like a comfort shoe, but they're really, really nice quality. So this is a genuine leather upper, but they do have this, it's called the Pillow Top Memory Foam Insole. And you can just tell it looks it's like that squishy memory foam. It just looks really comfortable. And the brand is called Comfortiva. So the C is actually worn off. So there's a C in the front there. So Comfortiva. But yeah, really, really cute green, genuine suede booties. I love this like leather strap detail on the front here. Really good, nice rubber sole. So this will be the first time for me trying out this brand, but um, just based off the style and quality of these, I think they will do well. This is a women's size nine. Okay, this next pair of shoes I actually picked up based off of style. This is also not a brand I pick up very often. I think I have maybe sold this brand once or twice before, but again, nine times out of 10, I leave this brand behind in the thrift store, but this style I actually really liked and I went ahead and grabbed these just because they're in such good condition. So the brand is called Dirty Laundry. You can see the little logo. It says DL right there. Um, let me see if you can read the inside. So Dirty Laundry. And I think these were sold at like Burlington or something because they still have the tag on the bottom. So they were asking $27.99 at Burlington for these but really, really cute. I like the folded over like knit look to these. And these are a women's size six and a half. You guys, almost done. I have one more pair of shoes, a few little hard goods, and then we're done with this video. So thank you if you have stuck with me so far. This is a really cute pair of like moccasin style booties as well genuine leather and this is by a brand that I do love picking up. It does typically sell well for me. It's Timberland. Really good rubber tread 
and yeah I just really like the style of these they seem like they'd be really warm too because they have like this looks like like sheep's uh like shirling lining on the inside and these are a size seven so moving on to the couple of little like home decor hard good pieces I picked up. Remember guys, I'm not an expert in hard goods. That is not my specialty for reselling, but occasionally I grab a few pieces just to sell in like the home section on Poshmark um, or on eBay or even Mercari. I actually just sold some spice uh, like canisters the other day, uh, a couple days ago on Mercari. I'll post them on the screen too so you guys can see them. But yeah, so occasionally I just grab things that kind of catch my eye because um, I like to browse that section every now and then. So this first item I thought was really cool. I know like Eagle stuff like this sells really well. And this is like a cast iron, almost 3D. I mean, it is a little 3D Eagle wall hanging. It has the little hooks here to where you can hang it on the wall. Just really cool. It has kind of that rustic vibe to it. It is pretty lightweight because it is, I mean, it's, it's definitely like cast iron, but it's thin. And I actually got this for free. So it did not have a sticker on it anywhere. So when I took it up to the register, um, because it was the very end of the night, they were closing and they had quite a long line. The uh, girl at the cash register, um, it didn't have a price on it. And instead of calling somebody to price check it, she just said, I'm just gonna go ahead and give this to you, which, you know, I'm not going to not going to decline that. So that was really nice. And then um, I got a few cast iron pieces. I don't know if they were donated by the same person, but I really like stuff like this. This is a cast iron candlestick. It has a little monkey on it. I do wish this was a pair. I wish there was another one. I like to sell candlesticks in pairs. They just tend to sell better, but I could not find another one of these. I did look. I think this one is unique enough because it has the little monkey that it will still sell on its own. If it was more of like a plain or like solid candlestick, um, if it was missing a pair, I probably would have left it behind. But since this one is just so fun and unique on its own, I think it'll do well. And there are no markings on it unless it's underneath the price tag on the bottom, but I don't, I don't think it is. so have to do a little research on that. And the last cast iron piece I picked up is actually a bookend and this is an owl. I love this. I'm a sucker for owls. I actually already have some bookends on my shelf so I don't really need another one but if he doesn't sell I will definitely find a place for him because I just I love owls and this this I would have preferred to pick up if it was a pair as well, but I could only find one. But I do think that single book in still will sell and he's just absolutely adorable. Okay, and then I did pick up, I only brought one of them over here, but I have a set of six of these. So they're these really cute ceramic, they're like a speckled ceramic, which I love. And then the rim is kind of has this rustic look to it. So they're the little saucer plates, but they have the matching mugs and I love these. I love the design on them. Okay, trying to get this close enough to the camera for you guys to see, but I love the pattern, the kind of like prairie flower. Um, I'm not sure what these are. They're like, they kind of look like prairie weeds or flowers on there. Let me know down below. Um, but I love the speckled pottery. I just think it's so pretty. Such a cute little like display set of mugs. I would absolutely display these on my kitchen shelving area, but I already have so many mugs and I don't need any more. These are marked on the bottom. They do say England. So they were made in England. And let's see, it's Stonehenge made in England and I'm guessing this is called the Midwinter Collection. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that there, but I do have a set of six and I probably will sell them. I may sell a set of two and then a set of four just because I don't like to package too large um, 
large orders of breakables. I just feel like there's more room for things to break that way. So I prefer to sell smaller uh, sets. So I'm going to probably, I'll either break this up because I have six into three sets of two, or I'll do one set of four and one set of two. Okay, and then the last hard good item I picked up was one of these little baggies that they hang on the wall. And it just has all these little cute cat figurines in it. I think this was came out to be like $2.50 for all of these little figurines. And I don't sell a ton of figurines, but I absolutely loved these. I am a huge cat lover myself. I have two dogs, but fun little fact, I actually, one of my first jobs, I actually used to work for a cat rescue and I home fostered little litters of kittens that needed to be bottle fed um, or they were just you know too little to survive on their own and I would bottle feed them until they were old enough to be adopted but I also worked at the the cat rescue and I worked the adoption fairs which was really fun but um, yeah I think um, I saw this cat figurine in the bag and this is the one I actually wanted I am gonna resell these but I just think it is so stinking cute it's this little pea pod and it's got a little cat and mouse sitting on the inside there. So stinking cute. And it does have a sticker on the bottom. It does say Inesco, E-N-E-S-C-O. Um, yeah, so I couldn't find this exact figurine online, but I did see quite a few that were selling from this brand. I'm not expecting much for this, probably just around like 10, maybe $15, between 10 and $15 for this, but um, you know, I only paid $2.50 for this whole bag, and I think there's like four in here that I might try to resell. The next cat figurine is this cute little cat in a boot. It's kind of in like a Victorian style boot here, which I think is adorable and he's really cute. He does have a marking on the bottom. It just has a like a number and then it says kitten in shoe. And again, I have to do a little more research but probably only about $10 for this. Next one I absolutely love and I might actually keep this one just cause I don't know how much resale value he'll have. He's just a cute little sleeping kitten, but it is marked on the bottom. It's Sandy Cast. It says, this original Sand Cast sculpture has been hand painted in San Diego, California, which I think is really cool. And then the person who hand painted it, Louis DeWare, I think is his name. Um, he wrote his name on the bottom and he actually wrote the date. So 1987 which is really cool. So that's before I was born. <laughs> so this was made and hand painted before I was even born, but it's just a really cute little sleeping cat. So I may keep this and find a little spot for him in my own house. And then this last one, um, there's actually another one. This is a little kitten. It says baby's first Christmas. And I think it's like a little ornament, but it's actually broken up here. So I may end up just re-donating this one. And then this is also a Christmas ornament. It's vintage. It says 19, is marked 1993 on the bottom. And I may try to lot this up with some other like vintage ornaments around Christmas time and sell them in like a bundle just because I don't think like one single ornament like this will have a super high resale value. But if I have a bundle of them, um, I'll probably get a little bit more. So probably just hang on to this guy until like October, November, sometime around then when I'm starting to list Christmas stuff. All right, you guys, so that was it for this haul. This was a super long haul, so this video might be a little bit longer. But if you did make it through this whole video, I appreciate you so much for being here. Please give this video a thumbs up before you leave here. Also, make sure you're subscribed to this channel. Hit that little bell notification down below so you don't miss any of my future uploads. And I hope you guys are having a great day, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.